Mendocino Vino here, ready for wine number seven of the Wine Folly Challenge, Acertico. Wine Folly Challenge is where I try all 86 grapes and 14 wines featured in the Wine Folly Magnum Edition. I try them first alone and then paired with food to see if that changes the wine. Today I'm trying Astyrtiko, which is a Greek varietal indigenous to the island of Santorini. This is a really cool place to grow wine for a couple of different reasons. The first one is actually it's designated as, it could be designated as a desert. Because of the climate, the vines are trained in this basket shape, and that shape actually protects the grapes from the sun and from the wind. Otherwise, it's just too windy and too sunny for the grapes to really survive there. Today, my bottle is from the Argos Estate. It is a 2017. It is 100% acertico. It is 100% fermented in stainless steel vats. They are 60-year-old vineyards in Episcopi and Pyrgos, and it has volcanic and sandy soil. So the volcanic soils of Santorini actually stop Phylloxera, which was this pest that destroyed pretty much all the vineyards in Europe uh, back you know, in the 1800s. Because of the volcanic soils, they're actually able to not use a lot of herbicide or pesticides also, because those other types of pests, along with the Phylloxera, can't really survive there. This bottle is 14% alcohol and cost me $33.99. So a little bit pricey again in that $30 range, but I wanted to get a bottle from Santorini and not the mainland. You can find them for cheaper from the mainland of Greece, but I really wanted to taste one that is an example of the most well-known acertico. So let's get started. I would call this as deep straw. Let's see what the nose is on this. Mmm, a lot of minerality in there, I'm getting notes of maybe lime, almost like a chalky characteristic as well, saline definitely, and almost a little bit of a floral white flower note also on there. That smells good. I'm excited to try it. It reminds me of the ocean. Uh, let's see how it tastes. Really high acidity, that's actually one of the other characteristics of a Certico, is that it uh, is able to retain really high acidity even in high heat. So definitely bracing, <laughs> quite bracing acidity. Notes of lime, a little bit of saline. To be honest, not really my favorite wine. Uh, I think I like some of the other white wines I've tried already a little bit more. Um, I'm finding a, a little bit lean and a little bit just mostly acidic notes from it. Yeah, I'd say for my final call, I'm gonna say lots of lime and lots of saline, uh, really bracing acidity. Uh, some interesting kind of back notes on it too. It has a pretty long finish. More uh, savory though, more minerality to it than uh, a little bit less fruit forward. For all you vegetarians out there, for my pairing today, I have a Greek tomato feta salad. tomato, cucumber, and feta, and the dressing is a red wine vinegar and olive oil with some garlic in it. I'm excited to see how this tastes and see if it makes me come around more to this varietal. Very tasty. I love garlic. I'm a huge garlic fan, and this definitely has a decent amount of garlic in it. I give it a bite. So, trying it with the wine. Wow, it's kind of odd. For some reason, the nose of this now reminds me of pineapple. I'm not sure why the nose changed, not just the flavor, but yeah, I don't know. The nose on this now is like tons of pineapple. Delicious pineapple, actually. This is, I, I like the wine more now. 
I am definitely a fan of this pairing. I think it's vinegar in here that is making this seem less acidic now. And so I'm getting more roundness to the, to the wine, a little bit more fullness, which I like a lot more. And just a lot more fruit notes are coming out too. So I am getting, strangely enough, um, I don't think it's known for having pineapple notes in it, but I'm getting pineapple. Maybe some quince as well, but really pineapple lime mostly. But it's not quite as acidic, it's not quite as overwhelming. And it just goes really well with this dish. And here even too, I'll say the tomatoes are a little bit sweet, which is kind of nice to balance out that acidity in there as well. So I think most people wouldn't think of Greece as a wine tourist destination, but from what I've had so far, I really want to go check it out. I really want to go to Santorini, I want to see those basket-shaped vines, I want to have some agaritico, acertico, I'm excited for these other ones I'm going to be trying later on, so really I'm very excited by this, and Greece is definitely now on the top, one of the top places on my list of wine destinations I want to check out. This is Mendocino Vino. Thanks for coming along today. Chin chin.